Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up. My name is Glenn and today we have a review for you of Super Mega Baseball 2 Ultimate Edition. Now we've been very lucky to have our good friend Chicken Perm write the review for this one for us because me, I'm not a baseball fan, I'm a football fan and I mean football, not football. And Mark would think Boston Red Sox are something that would keep your feet warm. So let's get into Chicken Perm's review. How does one properly express what it's like to be a Nintendo Switch owner? The hours and hours of pure enjoyment of gaming whatever you want, where and whenever you want. I believe Major League Baseball Hall of Famer Lou Gehrig famously said it best. Today I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. For anyone who is not familiar with this legend, he was one of the all-time greatest professional baseball players for who else but my New York Yankees. I played Little League Baseball growing up and was my town's all-star first baseman. The sport is widely considered America's pastime and I love it, so when a game called Super Mega Baseball 2 Ultimate Edition from Metalhead Software landed in my lap for review, I felt a real sense of duty to look at it from several different points of view. I know not everyone's into sports like I am, some people that do enjoy sports are beyond bored by baseball and others couldn't care less about sports in general anyway. Luckily for Super Mega Baseball 2, the Yankees just played the Boston Red Sox in Europe a few weeks ago, so the sport has received more worldwide exposure recently. Is Super Mega Baseball 2 a grand slam, or will gamers be exiting the stadium before the seventh inning stretch? Let's find out. I have to say right off the bat that when something has the words Super and or Mega in the title, I cannot help but assume it will be over the top and wacky. However, other than the players looking cartoonish, Super Mega Baseball 2 is actually quite the opposite of my expectations and hopes. I was looking forward to playing something like NBA Jam or NFL Blitz that goes for a ridiculous, unrealistic, flashy arcade version of the sport and must admit I was somewhat disappointed at this more serious approach. Obviously I won't be holding that against the game in the review, it was just my first impression when booting up. It takes itself pretty seriously in regards to the gameplay and is more in direct competition with RBI Baseball 19 minus the licensed teams and players from the MLB. Traditional Major League Baseball rules apply, so in a crude nutshell, score more runs than your opponent in the number of innings set for the match, which can be set from 1 to 9 innings long. From what I have played, a free innings game lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. You can control the level of difficulty through the ego meter that ranges from 0 to 100. The higher the number, the more difficult the computer is against you, and less CPU assistance you receive when at bat and fielding, and up to four people can play at once. A total of 16 teams are available to pick from in exhibition mode, and 10 ballparks to play at located all over the world. There is also the option to create your own team, leagues, and edit players. I was surprised how customised you can make players, entire teams and leagues when creating your own league. The season, length and game details can be altered to your liking too. I could see plenty of people getting lost for hours just setting up their own personalised baseball players, teams and conferences. I would absolutely love to see someone make the Cleveland Indians from the movie Major League with Willie Mays Hayes and Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn. Or the Simpsons nuclear power plant softball team. <laughs> Online play was spot on. Paul from fellow Switch channel Switched On and I played a free innings game against each other and there was not a single moment of lag and that of course was between the UK and the US. I do not play many games online in general but I was very impressed with their dedicated servers. The only mode Super Mega Baseball is missing is the home run derby. It would be great to see that along with a ball marker on the field to show where fly balls are going to land. Gameplay is fluid and fun and does everything you need it to do and the online is extremely sound and it scores 17 out of 20. Surprisingly there is a lot to learn in order to be good enough to beat the computer. At first it was a bit overwhelming to learn offence, pitching, defence, defence, sorry what am I doing, I'm English, and running the bases. There is a command to control just about anything you could think to do in a real baseball game, so much so that it would take too long to go over the controls in any real detail. The game does a fairly good job of providing brief tutorials on everything, but I would say do not expect to pick this game up and beat the computer immediately. I didn't get my first win until my fourth game, and it was a bit of a nail-biter even then. Even though I am a big sports fan, there are very few sports video games I enjoy playing mainly because of controls. Personally, I think games that try to make a sport realistic often go overboard with the controls and it makes the game robotic and overly complex. 
As I stated though, the game provides the information and tools to get better and the best way to learn the game is just by pushing through the losses. At first I was trying to do too much when at bat by moving the cursor then swinging with A, but the cursor will move on its own and you can just worry about the timing of your swing to hit the ball. Pitching in the game is still something I have not quite got the hang of because once you have your pitch type and location set a circle appears and you have to use the left stick to get it near the pitch location for the pitch to be accurate. It's really a bit too much just to throw a decent pitch. The computer is very unforgiving and will run out simple ground balls faster than you can throw them out and they will hit plenty of dingers if your pitch marker is slightly off. Until you get the hang of the controls, it's common for the CPU to put up at least 5 runs on you in a single innings. Controls do take some getting used to and you may feel the frustration in those early games but you do start to get the hang of them and they receive 15 out of 20. Super Mega Baseball 2 has a colourful cartoon appearance that does not really match with the realistic tone of controls and gameplay. Stats are provided rather well, although there is a lot to take in on the screen when trying to put your focus on getting the bat on the ball or the pitch where you want it. I would have liked the box score to be larger and just laid out maybe a little bit cleaner. The character models themselves have a certain charm to them, although they do look a bit rough around the edges for want of a better way of putting it, and the aesthetic in general just looks like it could do with a little bit of a polish up. In terms of the audio, this is probably the most lacklustre part of the game. A crucial aspect of any enjoyable baseball game is detailed and colourful commentary, but there is none of that in this game at all. Whilst in a match there is not much going on audibly at all, except the umpire making his or her calls. It would have been great to hear some classic ball game organ music in the background, or popular crowd chants such as charge or defence. The game really fell flat in this area unfortunately, because a funny commentator like a Harry Carey impersonator, something like that, would have just added some life and a bit of charm to the game as well. Visuals are basic but pleasant and receive 14 out of 20, whereas audio is certainly the most disappointing aspect of the game and receives a lowly 8 out of 20. Super Mega Baseball 2 costs £23.89 or $29.99 and for such an in-depth baseball game with outstanding online performance, this asking price certainly makes up for a few missteps in terms of the visuals and the lack of audio. Ultimately it is just a baseball game, albeit with a solid serious tone, and therefore it's pretty much predetermined from the start as to who will be interested in this title. By way of a comparison on the Switch, RBI Baseball 19 is the same price and allows you to play as all major leaguers, so it depends on how you prefer your baseball to look. Some people may prefer to pay the same price and obviously have the official MLB license in their game over this cartoonier version of the sport. I feel Super Mega Baseball 2 is missing a few features like the home run derby and perhaps some goofy mascot related events in between innings, but to be fair those don't really take away from what is provided and that is a real deal baseball video game for the Nintendo Switch. And with all of this in mind, value scores 18 out of 20. To conclude, Super Mega Baseball 2 is a fun experience on the Nintendo Switch which plays a good game of baseball and has a very solid online experience. The lack of the official license does hurt the game to an extent, especially when you consider that there is an alternative on the Switch that offers this, but that doesn't take away from the core gameplay experience which is very good. The cartoony visuals do have a certain charm, but are a little bit unpolished, whereas the audio is the game's weak point as already mentioned. However, anyone looking for a good baseball game on their Nintendo Switch can't go too far wrong with this one. Super Mega Baseball 2 receives a switch up score of 72%. Many thanks everybody as always for watching, I hope you enjoyed this review, please do remember to leave a like if you did. A huge thank you to Chicken Perm for writing this one for us, using his vast knowledge of the sport to ensure that the review was as detailed as could possibly be. A quick thank you to our patrons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for continuing to watch our videos and helping us to grow this channel. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.